And what is up guys? Welcome back to the Accelerator Sub for another video. Today we have another sales video for you guys, or should I say another mega sales video. I'm gonna do my best to get us completely caught up on sales in this. I haven't fully edited yet. I normally record these intro clips before I go through and put all the sales clips together. So uh, unless it becomes like 25 minutes long and then I'm, I'm gonna have to split it up into another video. But we'll see, this is definitely gonna be at least, you know, 15 to 20 minutes worth of sales. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what sales period it's from, but I'm going to put that down in the pinned comment of, of what date range these sales are from for you guys. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into these sales. All right, guys, we had a bunch of sales over the weekend. So let's jump into the first one. First things first, we sold a Gen 2 Realm RDO 5. This was the one with the clear green wheels. I definitely prefer these clear wheels to the solid wheels. I just think it gives the Gen 2 cars a much more uh, modern, futuristic look. But the total on this order was $35, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed Next up, we sold a Highway 35 side draft car. This is definitely one of the seven or eight rarest Highway 35 cars. Um, this was in moderately worn condition. As you can see, it's got some small chips on the front. Here and there are some decal scuffs, but overall, for the most part, it was in pretty solid condition, honestly, considering uh, the condition that I've seen some of these Highway 35 cars in. But the total on this order was $70, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold another one of the big boys. We sold the Acceleracers 3D Foil RDO9 version two card. This card did have a crease right in the middle. And uh, that's how you know it was definitely from a sheet because I've never seen an actual loose trading card that has a crease directly in the middle that doesn't connect to any one of the edges. So it must've been creased while it was on the sheet. But the total on this order was $205, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy it. Super, super sweet card. Next up, we sold a lot of three more Mint Accelerators foil cards. First up was the Nitrox 3 foil. Such a beautiful, beautiful looking hollow on this card. Then we sold one of the community favorite cards, a foil chrome globes. And the last one was a foil bootleg reverse card. You know, at one point I had like 15 of these. I think I'm down to my last two or three. Definitely starting to move a little bit quicker in here. Total on this order was $76, even to return buyers. Thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold the loose accelerations reverb that I pulled out of that shipment of loose cars that I did in the giveaway video for 700 subs. This car definitely had a lot of wear on it. I mean, well, honestly, the decals and stuff really don't look all that bad. Definitely got some scuffs and scratches here and there for sure. But uh, on the whole, not in all that bad of shape, but the engine back here did have a bunch of black spots on it. So I think I listed it as heavily worn, which I feel comfortable with. I feel comfortable listing it in that condition. Total on this order was $87 even, so thanks for that purchase. Next up, we sold two more of the cars out of that lot. It was the CM6 RDO5 and the CM6 RDO8. Both went to the same buyer. And uh, the RDO5, honestly, you know, the guy who had these really did take pretty good care of them. I mean, look at the decals on the hood. They look almost pristine. Definitely a little bit of wear on the sides here and there, especially on the RDO8. But uh, the decal on the top doesn't look all that bad. Anyways, total on this order was $105, even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. All right, guys, we've got a couple of accelerations sales to go through today. First things first, we got a new buyer who said he's getting back into collecting accelerators, purchased seven loose mint accelerators cars, which were a CM6 Ratified, CM5 Riveted, CM6 Jackhammer, CM6 Rolling Thunder, CM6 Carbide, CM6 Rdo6, and a CM6 Iridium. So a beautiful little array of cars, seven out of 36 right here. Total on this order was $95 even, so thank you for that purchase. Next up, we sold a lot of 22 lightly played and heavily played cars that included one foil card, which was a Strato Thruster that was also in lightly or heavily played condition. Definitely had some scuffing on the foil, but the total on this order was $34 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold a lot of five lightly played to heavily played foil cards that were all in different condition. Um, it's definitely some rare foils in here. It was a foil reactor realm, definitely one of the cooler realm cards. Foil tsunami hazard. Foil vector carbide. You know, I didn't think this card was that rare back when I first started opening packs, but lately it's been tough to find vector carbide cards. And then a foil lava realm card, definitely one of my favorite hollows in the game. Love the colors on that card for sure. And probably the rarest regular foil card is the desert realm. Total on this order was $130 even for these five cards. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, couple of quick sales to get us going for the day. First things first, we sold a lot of three Loose Mints Accelerators cars, which were a CM6 Anthracite, a CM6 Ratified, and a CM6 RDO6. Total on this order was $37 even once you include shipping to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold three Loose Highway 35 Road Beast cars, which were Zotic Power Pistons, and ballistic all these cars were in like moderately worn to heavily worn condition i know they look pretty good on camera 
but uh, when you look at them up close, they've got some scuffs and scratches. They just have some general wear on them. But uh, the total on this order was $27 even, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, lots of sales to go through from over the weekend. First things first, we sold a loose Highway 35, moderately worn condition road rocket car. Definitely one of the rarer cars from the Highway 35 line. Definitely not loose mint condition, had some scratches and scuffs here and there on it, but overall it was still in pretty good condition. Total on this order was $60 even, so thank you for that purchase, hopefully you enjoyed. Next up, we sold two more Highway 35 cars, which are two track set exclusive editions of these Highway 35 cars, which were Muscle Tone and Silver Bullet, or Aero Flash, as is more commonly known. But the total on this order was $85 even. I believe this one came with the Scorchers track set, and this one came with the Street Breed track set. And uh, the paint jobs are a little bit different from these standard Highway 35 line cars. Obviously, Aero Flash was, I think, a red color, and Muscle Tone had black paint that went all the way across the top of the car. And next up, we sold a Gen 2 Loose Lightly Worn Acceleracers Battle Spec. This was from the Accelercharge series. One of my favorite parts about this series is just that all the cars have the, uh, the clear body on them, just like the Synchro from the card game starter set. It's a really, really wicked look for all these Accelerators cars. Because I think the other cars in that set were like the Anthracite, Pile Driver, so on and so forth. They all came out really, really cool. But the total on this order was $55 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold three loose, lightly worn Teku vehicles, which were Synchro, Battle Spec, and Drift Tech. Battle Spec's definitely the gem in this lot. Uh, just had some light decal scratches here and there. But the total on this order was $45 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, continuing on with some more Highway 35 cars, we sold three heavily worn Highway 35 cars, which were Switchback, the Ford F-150, and Pontiac Rages. This one's probably more like lightly played or near mint, honestly. But the other two were definitely pretty beat up. Lots of scuffs and scratches. But the total on this order was $14 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we have what is probably the most expensive order that we've had on the eBay store in a long, long time. It was a total of five 3D foil cards. We'll flip through them real quick. It was a 3D foil light speed card, a regular copy of Carbide, a 3D foil phantom form card, one of the sickest hollows in the game. Then we have a 3D foil Octorod Hyperpod, 3D foil Hyper Synchro, and the last one was a 3D foil RDO9 version two. The grand total on this order was $1,244 total. So thanks for that purchase, hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold two more 3D foil cards, which were a 3D foil Vectra Anthracite and a 3D foil Hyper Synchro. These 3D foil cards are selling very quickly. I think I'm down to my last 10 or 12 of these, honestly. Total on this order was $500 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase, hopefully you enjoy. And I wanna say this buyer has actually completed his 3D foil set now. And the only card he's missing now is jump jets. So big congrats on that. It's definitely not an easy feat to do. Next up, we sold a lot of 33 near mint cement cards, which were mostly commons, but we'll flip through them real quick. It was Windshark, Nitrium, Balance Box, Rev Matching, Iridium, Camo Skin, Endure, the Swamp Realm, Spine Buster, the Blizzard Realm, Vector Technetium, Simulator Run, Torqued Pile Driver, Poly Alloy Wheels, Second Window to Tank, Four Wheel Steering, 2D, Slalom, RDO4, Hyper Jump, Hyper Spectite, Nightlife, Riveted, Ice Shrapnel, Mega Base Box, The Labyrinth Realm, Engine Elixir, Total Traction, RDO4 Version 2, Spoiler, Ratified, Mutant Vultures, and Spire Slalom. Wow, I'm out of breath now. Total on that order was $64 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold a Loose Mint CM6 Synchro. Just recently got these back in stock and they are starting to sell quickly. Once again, total on this order was $21 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And then we sold another lot of three Loose Mint Accelerators cars, which were a CM6 Baseline, CM6 Nitrium, and a CM6 Black Wing Synchro. Those Synchros definitely sell like hotcakes whenever I get them in stock. Super sweet car. Total on this order was $47 even, so thanks for that purchase, hopefully you enjoyed. All right guys, so first order of the day, we sold another one of the Gen 2 cars. This is one of my personal favorites, the Stripped Metal Series Iridium. This paint job absolutely gleams on this car. I wish they would have done all the silencers with this paint job. Uh, anything stripped metal looks incredible. I love the little silencers decal on the back of the car. Super, super sweet model. Total on this order was $55 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase, hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold another Gen 2 car, which is the Accelicharge Series Pile Driver. I think I only have one of these left in stock, so if you're missing it, don't wait to get it. 
probably be relisted by the time this video airs. But the buyer also purchased a loose, lightly worn Firebird IROC car from the Highway 35 Street Breed team. Total on this order was $65 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. Next up, we sold a loose mint CM6 RDO6 car. Total on this order was $10 plus five for shipping. So $15 even. Thanks for this purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And next up, we sold a lot of six different accelerators vehicles, which were all pretty rare Teku vehicles. Let's flip through them real quick. It was a copy of Battle Spec, copy of Power Rage, copy of Drift Tech, Baseline, my last copy of Spec Tight. I'm finally out of stock on Spec Tight. I had about five of these at one point, and since then, I have not pulled any more, just slowly been selling through them. And this was the last one. So we are out of stock on Spec Tight now. And the high voltage that we just pulled in the pack opening video recently. Also out of stock on high voltage again. So the only really rare Teku vehicle that I have in stock anymore, obviously like your baselines or synchros and I uh, have a chicane card. But other than that, we are pretty much out, you know, high voltage reverb spec type. Total on this order was $74 even. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, we had a big order of accelerators trading cards today. It was a total of 28 near mint to mint cards. Let's flip through them real quick. It was a bunch of vehicles. So we got riveted, torque riveted, torque jaw jammer, ratified, hollow back, jackhammer, my last copy of Torque Flathead Fury, Power Bomb, Torque Pile Driver, my last copy of Torque Ratified, Jaw Jammer, and my last copy of Torque Rolling Thunder. So I'm definitely running low on some of these Torque Metal Maniac vehicles. I got at least three or four out of stocks. Then the buyer also purchased, let's see here, RDO 4 version 2, RDO 6, RDO 7 version 2, RDO 6 version 2, RDO 1, RDO 3 version 2, RD 10, RDO 8 version 2, RD 10 version 2, RDO 3, RDO 7, RDO 5 version 2, Iridium, RDO 2, and RDO 4. And the last card was a near mint copy of Flathead Fury. This is my last copy of Flathead Fury, so we're now out of stock. So this guy pretty much cleaned me out of three different types of Torque Metal Maniac vehicles and my Flathead Fury card. Total on this order was $91 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. Next up, we had a buyer purchase three more cards. It was a mint copy of Vector Technetium, then a heavily played copy of Cub Light, definitely one of the hardest to find trading cards in the card game, and a lightly played copy of Technetium. The total on this order was $29, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And the next order was the lot of three loose, lightly worn Teku vehicles. They all had some minor scratches, decal issues here and there, but for the most part, they really do look great. Total on this order was $38, even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. And continuing on, next up was a lot of three heavily worn silencers vehicles, which were Carbide, Octanium, and Anthracite. And they sold pretty cheap. They sold for $21. And I mean, you know, a mint Carbide can go for 22 or 23, but they all had some issues like this Carbide, the wheels were slightly bent, so it rolls to the left or to the right, I can't remember. And uh, some rusted axles, I think. No, maybe not. I don't remember what was wrong with these exactly. Probably just some light decal wear here and there. But anyways, total on this order was $21 even, so thank you for that purchase. Continuing on, the next order was a lot of six starter set exclusive Accelerators cars, which I think are Battle Spec 2, Ratified 2, Flathead Fury 2, Technetium 2, RDO 9 Plus, and RDO 3 Plus. You can only get those in the starter set, and they're actually getting pretty hard to find in mint condition just because of the price of starter sets. But the total on this order was $13 even, so thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And the last purchase of the day was a lot of 22 lightly played to heavily played accelerators cards, including one foil card, which as you can see in this case was a foil home track advantage, one of the coolest looking hollows in the card game. But the total on this order was $35 even, so thank you for that purchase. All right, guys, we had a bunch of purchases over the weekend, so let's go ahead and jump right into them. First things first, we sold three Highway 35 loose cars that were all damaged. They all had bent axles, bent wheels, something. None of them rolled smoothly. I mean, just look at that. This car just wants to keep everybody on its toes. It's not going to let them know which way it's going. But uh, the total on this order was $10 even to a return buyer, so thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold a loose mint technetium that had a little bit of yellowing on the paint. You can kind of see it in the light. It's got a bit of a yellow tinge to the car, but it came out of the packaging like that. So it's still loose mint condition and a heavily played condition Highway 35 Dodge Charger RT. One of the coolest models, in my opinion. I know there's not a ton of love for it because it looks kind of basic, but uh, I kind of like the color scheme and the paint job on it. But the total on this order was $43 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. Next up, we sold a Highway 35 Gold Slingshot. I assume this was the gold one that came in the movie two pack. Pretty cool design on the car, honestly. I love the uh, the gold on it. And these tires actually used to be gold as well, but they just rubbed off over time. So now they're more just a standard silver color. But this car was in heavily played condition, had a lot of wear on it. 
but uh, still a pretty cool little cart. Total on this order was $22 even, so thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed And next up, we sold the Trackset exclusive Vulture card. This card did have some small chips on it here and there. Vulture has gone up a ton in price over the last couple weeks. Um, honestly, I think it's kind of in a bubble. It's, it shouldn't be worth that much. I know somebody listed one for like $200, but for the last couple months, it seemed like it's been in like $60 to $80 range for a, a carded one. So I don't know where the sudden price jump came in. But uh, anyways, this car sold for $75, even to a return buyer. Thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And continuing on, we sold three more Acceleracers cars that were all used. They are all in a varying condition. I think the RDO one was in like lightly played and these two were sort of moderately played and then heavily played on this one. I'm pretty sure you can just tell by the hood, but they all rolled smoothly. And that is the most important thing to the customer normally. So total on this order was $47 even. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold another one of the big boys. We sold this 3D foil sweeper strike card. Definitely one of the cooler card arts. I wish they would have done more with the scenery in the background. Like if they would have put this in the Metro realm, with uh, the sweeper sucking up the synchro card, that would have been absolutely incredible. That would have been like the perfect card design, but I get it, it's tough to make these 3D foil cards back in the day. So the total on this order was $235 even to a new buyer, so thanks for that purchase, hopefully you enjoy. All right guys, so the first order of the day was a lot of six Looseman Accelerators cards, which are definitely some rare ones in here. It was a CM6 Excelium, a CM6 Nitrum. This is actually the, uh, the shiny silver variation of Nitrum, definitely looks pretty cool. Most of the silencers, well, I shouldn't say most, uh, some of the silencers have a different paint variation, like this is sort of a flat gray. And as you can see, this is like a shiny gloss gray or gloss silver, whatever you want to call it. But um, definitely a cool little variation there. Then we've got the CM6 Technetium, CM6 Iridium, a CM6 Anthracite, and a CM6 Blackwing Synchro. So almost the whole silencer team basically and a Synchro. Total on this order was $110 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And uh, that's a sweet array of silencers card. Right, moving on, we're continuing on some more silencers love. This time, Accelerators trading card style. We sold a lot of 12 Accelerators trading cards, which were Carbide, Vectra Nitrium, Magnesium, Anthracite, Vectra Excelium, Nitrium, Metalloid, Vectra Metalloid, Vectra Octanium, Vectra Magnesium, Vectra Iridium. So lots of silencers love here. And my last copy of RDO5 out of stock on this card again. And as most of you guys know, this is not the full picture of the card. A little fun fact, this is only the uh, the front left corner of the card. I think there's an international version of the card that does show the full card. And it's actually like, like this is a quarter of what the image should have been. It should have been like this big, <laughs> but a uh, pretty cool little detail there. But the total on this order was $55 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, next up, we sold two more loose mini Celestials cars, which were a CM6 Nitrium and a CM6 Iridium. I actually think that was my last Iridium that I had in stock for the moment. Total on this order was $30 even to a new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. And moving on, we sold another lot of loose mint cards, which was six total cards this time. Pretty big order. A CM6 Drift Tech, a CM6 Purple Spine Buster, CM6 Blackwing Synchro, CM5 Riveted. I think I'm down to my last one or two Riveteds. CM6 RDO6 and a CM6 Carbide. Great looking lot of cars here. The total on this order was $89 even to another new buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Beautiful, beautiful group of cards. Next up, we sold another one of the big boys. This was my last copy of the 3D Foil Phantom Form card. Such a beautiful card art. Definitely one of the prettiest cards in the game. You can't go wrong with the Cell Charger Foil cards and the 3D Foil Cell Chargers are even more beautiful. Just love the, uh, the rainbow hollow on it all the way around. But the total on this order was $275 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. All right, guys, moving on. We sold a lot of 41 different accelerators. Card well, actually... 41 total accelerators cards, excuse me, and 21 unique. So there was about two copies of almost all of these cards, except for one, I believe, that uh, was a single copy. But total on this order was $50, even to a return buyer who's actually using these to play the game, which is pretty exciting. So uh, hopefully you enjoy. Thanks for that purchase. And next up, we had a lot of 20 near mint cement accelerators cards. We'll flip through them real quick. It was a lot of silencers vehicles. Again, we've got Magnesium, Spine Buster, Hyper Baseline, Hollowback, Hyper Spectite, Hyper Drift Tech, Hyper Battle Spec. Drift Tech, Hyper Nightlife, Torque Jaw Jammer, Torqued Pile Driver, Excelium, Nitrium, Nightlife, Anthracite, Carbide, my last copy of Vectra Iridium, which is a sneakily rare card. It's uh, definitely hard to find. The Junk Realm, Regular Jaw Jammer, and Vectra Nitrium to wrap it up. The total on this order was $55, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoy. Next up, we sold a lot of three more Accelerators cards, which were a Loose Mint CM6 RDO4, a Loose Mint CM5 Riveted, 
and a moderately worn Gen 2 loose Excella charged anthracite. Definitely one of the cooler car models. Um, all the Excella charged cars have the like see-through uh, body on them. Looks super, super sick. Definitely am a huge fan of that type of car. But total on this order was $54 even. So thank you for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. Next up, we sold two more loose mint cars, which were a CM5 Hollowback, which I'm now out of stock on again, and a CM6 Orange Wing Drift Tech, which these are actually starting to sell a little bit faster now. For a while, they were kind of just sitting there, but uh, they're starting to move a little bit. So the total on this order was $27, even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. Hopefully you enjoyed. Next up, we sold my last mint copy of RDO9. And uh, this is definitely one of the harder regular vehicle cards to find that's not a foil, which is a little bit surprising because the RDO9 car itself was not all that rare or the RDO9 car, excuse me. But uh, the trading card version of it is definitely not super easy to find. Total on this order was $26 even to a return buyer. So thanks for that purchase. And next up, we sold a carded Highway 35 Ballistic. Definitely not a mint packaging. It's got uh, some bending at the top, a little bit of yellowing on the, the, uh, the back. It's definitely not white like it used to be. But the car inside still in perfect shape. So carded ballistic gone to a new buyer total on this order was $21 even so thanks for that purchase and that is going to wrap it up for this video guys hopefully you guys all enjoyed seeing all these sellers items that are moving in and out of my store and just know that there's probably three to four times as many items moving in the community as a whole um, I've seen a huge uptick in items selling on Facebook marketplace you know a bunch of other local apps um, accelerated items are just hot 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 right now and I don't see them slowing down anytime soon but uh, you never know, guys. But anyways, that's going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash the like button. Subscribe to the Accelerators Hub for more Accelerators related content. And on Friday, we have the giveaway winners video coming. We will find out who won this gorgeous movie accurate gold synchro that we got from Randy. And uh, until then, guys, take care and I will see you on Friday.